let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the walking of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our hearts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading. A reading from the book of Sirach, chapter 27, verses 30 to chapter 28, verse 7. Anger and wrath, these also are abominations, and the sinful man will possess them. He that takes vengeance will suffer vengeance from the Lord, and he will firmly establish his sins. Forgive your neighbor the wrong he has done, and then, when you, and then your sins will be pardoned when you pray. Does a man harbor anger against another, and yet seek for healing from the Lord? Does he have no mercy towards a man like himself, and yet pray for his own sins? If he himself, being flesh, maintains wrath, Will he then seek forgiveness from God, who will make expiation for his sins? Remember the end of your life and cease from enmity. Remember destruction and death and be true to the commandments. Remember the commandments and do not be angry with your neighbor. Remember the covenant of the Most High and overlook ignorance. The word of the Lord. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and rich in mercy. Lord, O oh my soul, and never forget all his benefits.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 14, verses 7 to 9. Brethren, none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord, both of the living and of the dead. The word of the Lord. Dominus vobis cum, Lexio Sancti Evangelis Acundum Ataum, At that time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And as he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had, and payment be made. So the servant fell at his knees, imploring him, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But that same servant, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison, till he should pay the debt. When his fellow servant saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant 
as I had mercy on you, and in anger, his Lord delivered him to the jailers till he should pay all his debts. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Verbum Domini Dear parishioners of Holy Cross Apo, good morning to you all. Father Clement Uja has been to my office many times and he has told me a lot about you, that you are a wonderful people. I have come to see for myself. And I, am, I have been very eager to come to your church because we share the same name. You know, the motto of my Episcopal uh, ministry is through the cross to the glory of God. And your, the name of your church is Holy Cross. So we are together. <clears throat> through the cross, we will get to heaven. Through the cross, all of you here in Apo Parish will get to heaven. Yes. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who wrong us. I'm sure you have heard this many times and said it many times. It is so easy to say it in the Our Father. Sometimes we don't even think about it. The reality is that when human beings feel hurt, it is not easy to forgive. Even though we say, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's not easy to forgive. It is not easy to transit from the theory of forgiveness to the praxis of forgiveness. Someone will tell you, I have forgiven, but I will never forget. Is that forgiveness? And another person will say, I have buried the hatchet, but I marked the spot. Similarly, in the Our Father, we pray that God's will be done. Very easy. Let your will be done, thy will be done. But when challenges weigh down so much on us, we wonder what has become of God and we run from pillar to post looking for remedies that are not of God. We go to places that have nothing to do with God. And yet, we say that it will be done easily in the Our Father. Our subject matter today is forgiveness. Forgiveness which comes from the heart instead of from the head. There's a difference. There's a difference between mental forgiveness, I forgive mentally, and then the forgiveness that comes directly from the heart. And forgiveness takes various forms. There is that forgiveness an individual receives from God. We all receive that from God. Then the forgiveness one offers to another. You offer forgiveness to somebody. There is forgiveness I receive from another person. I receive forgiveness. You receive forgiveness. And there is forgiveness that a group 
offers to another group. A church can offer to another church. So this is forgiveness. And it comes in various forms. In various forms. That forgiveness of one group forgiving the other group in our country is very urgent. In our country, ethnic groups disagree and they do terrible things to one another. Even in the name of religion, we disagree and we start to do terrible things that God does not approve of. So we need that type of forgiveness. One group forgiving the other group. One tribe forgiving the other tribe. One religion forgiving the other religious adherents. This is very important. In various parts of Nigeria today, we are experiencing violence and conflicts. And we are just wasting human lives. Wasting resources. It's such a tragedy. Wholehearted forgiveness by all, by all, from the children to the youth to the adults, is what will heal Nigeria and Nigerians. And that is what will speed up our social integration and progress. Some of us make the mistake that they have not offended anyone, and so they have no need of forgiveness. You have to remember that sometimes your presence your disposition, your body language, your talents, the way you speak, or the way you do your work, which you consider normal, offend and upset other people. And you can't just tell why. These things you do naturally without thinking is an offense to others. I tell you, offend and upset others and generate unhealthy anger or even deep-seated jealousy for inexplicable reasons. You can't explain why. They are angry at you and you are just being normal, being natural. Anyway, the solution is offer forgiveness and receive forgiveness. That's the solution. Jesus taught us last Sunday how to reconcile with one another. Today he teaches us to forgive unconditionally we should therefore pray for the grace to give and to receive forgiveness to give and to receive sirach chapter 28 verses 1 to 8 as we read in the first reading of jesus forgive your neighbor the heart he does you and when you pray your sins will be forgiven stop hating remember death Remember the covenant of the Most High and overlook the offense of your neighbor. I repeat that we should pray for the grace to forgive no matter how hurt or bitter we may feel. We must also pray that God will give those who feel offended because of our not deliberate actions, our acts of omissions and commissions, we pray for those people to know that we mean no harm to them so that they can liberate themselves of the feelings of bitterness and prejudice against us. For no reason, somebody just does not like you and feels you are not welcome. Many around us go about imagining that some people are their enemies. We have many of such people. I don't know what they are suffering from, but they think everybody is an enemy. Is it paranoia? Is it what? I don't know. But we must pray that God will clear that kind of spirit in us. And it is such people that will always, even in prayer, invoke Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Why is Holy Ghost firing? And they are not asking Holy Ghost to clean people, to build people, to unite people, to fire, fire, because you believe that they are your enemies, that the Holy Ghost should burn them and consume them. That is not Christian. Jesus in the parable of the servant, who having been forgiven his debt of 10,000 talents, that is a lot of money, a lot of money, 
maybe we can say is $10,000, which is also a lot of money by Nigerian standard. Now, having been forgiven, that same person refused to forgive his neighbor who owed him only a hundred denarii, only a hundred. And Jesus is teaching us today in that gospel the imperative, the necessity to forgive if we must receive God's forgiveness and have peace of mind. The example of Jesus' con unconditional forgiveness on the cross is very edifying. On the cross, Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Luke chapter 23, verse 34. In the gospel passage, Peter put before Jesus the question, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seven times. 77 times. That is 70 times 7. Whatever you think of it. Peter taught, like the Jewish rabbis, that there was a limit to forgiveness. That one only needed to forgive someone three times at most. That was the culture. That was the practice. If somebody offended you, you forgave him three times. After that, no way. I think it is part of us also. When somebody say, does something wrong to you, you say one. When he does another one, you say two. If you are lucky and he does the third one, you may still say three. But the fourth one, pow. So that was the culture among the Jews and the rabbis of the time permitted that you can forgive somebody three times at most. And after that, do with him whatever you will. So Peter thought it was... Uh, being very generous to forgive seven times. That when he proposed, should I forgive seven times? He was being magnanimous. He was being generous that, look, somebody for, uh, offends him and he forgives him or her up to seven times. He thought that was wonderful. But Jesus' response to forgive 77 times shows that there is no limit to forgiveness. That is the essence of the gospel today. There is no limit to forgiveness. One must forgive as many times as one is hurt. Stop counting. Not one, two, three. No, stop counting. But keep forgiving. That is the message today. That is the message of Jesus. The practice of retributive justice in the Old Testament of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth is not valid for the good follower of Christ. Now, you ask yourself this question. Just, I will ask you. If you were the young David in the Bible, after King Saul tried to kill you, remember you are the young David, and King David, King uh, Saul wanted to kill you several times and you escaped, only to find King Saul deep asleep in a bush with his spear fixed to the ground near his head. I ask you, if you were to be David, what would you do? What would you do? You would do nothing. You would pray for him and leave. What would you do? Okay, go and read 1 Samuel chapter 26, verses 7 to 25. Go and read that and you will know what you need to do. The Bible is clear about what you need to do. Not something bad, not something ugly, not something harmful. Go and read it. Now, today we have many things to learn. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, says the psalmist today. So, you learn to overcome evil with good. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. With genuine forgiveness, most social crises can be curtailed and brought under control. Peace can be restored in broken homes, in the society, and in the world at large, if there is forgiveness. If there is forgiveness, we free our hearts of all the negative feelings and effects of resentment, 
such as hostility, hatred, insecurity, and hurtful feelings. These things cause us emotional, psychological, and physical harm. When you are angry and you refuse to forgive, you suffer emotional, psychological, and physical harm. So we are asked to remove the toxic waste from our souls. Remove the toxic waste in your life. Be able to forgive and you will be at peace with yourself, at peace with God, and at peace with your neighbor. Forgiveness, forgiveness benefits the forgiver more than the forgiven. Forgiveness is therapeutic, it's healing. If you harbor ill feelings in your heart, you can't sleep, you can't eat, you will not be happy. But forgive and you are healed. Forgiving one who offends us is a prerequisite for receiving God's forgiveness. That has been expressed in the reading today. You can't ask God to forgive you when you refuse to forgive another person. When we forgive, we show that we are children of God who makes his son rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. Forgiveness is a virtuous act and it is sinful not to forgive. It's sinful if you refuse to forgive. St. Francis of Assisi in his prayer for peace says that where there is injury, we offer pardon. And pardon means forgiveness. Pray for and forgive our offenders, whether living or dead. Today, I ask you to pray for those who have offended you, whether they are alive, whether they are here, or even if they are dead, they once offended you, please pray for them and forgive them. Because St. Paul says today in the second reading that a Christian, whether living or dead, belongs to Christ. So the person that offended you who is alive still belongs to Christ. The one that has died belongs to Christ. Pray for them and forgive them. A powerful channel of forgiveness in the Catholic Church is the sacrament of reconciliation, confession, the sacrament of penance. Frequent it. Go to that sacrament very, very often. The priests are available for giving you the sacrament of reconciliation. And finally, while forgiveness cannot change the past, it can shape the future. If you forgive somebody, it doesn't change what has happened. The heart is not taken away like everything is gone and all that. It can't change anything in the past because it has happened. But it can make your future brighter, make your future very nice, and you are happy and at peace with yourself. So forgiveness can shape, can shape the future. And to you, my dear parishioners of Holy Cross, I understand that you are also known as people in the mechanic village. Is that correct? I, okay. Because that was how I got to know about you, that mechanics village. So I told Father, once my car is in trouble, I know where to go. And today we are here in Mechanic Village Apo, where I understand that vehicles are brought for repairs. Realize that we all have a duty to repair, not just physical cars, not just physical vehicles. All of us, you and I, have a duty to repair the broken engines of the heart. The engines of the heart sometimes get broken. Sometimes they need overhauling. We need to repair the engines of the heart, the heart of one another. And how can we do that? Through forgiveness and love. Through what? Forgiveness and love. May God bless you now and forever. Amen.
Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, God Almighty. Who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into that. He turned that day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, God Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of God. God's ways are not. Every day we pray that God will forgive us our sins as we are prepared to forgive our neighbor. In our intentions, let us seek the mercy of the God who forgives. For the reconciling church that brings healing to penitents, let us pray to the Lord. For men and women skilled in the art of diplomacy to diffuse global tension, let us pray to the Lord. For those who cannot forgive and forget, let us pray to the Lord. For sincerity in the sign of peace, we will give one another during this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear For our sick, bereaved, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear For the forgiveness of the sins of those who have died, especially our family members and our parishioners, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear In silence, let us now add our own private intentions. The memorare, remember, O oh most precious Virgin Mary, the never was it known. That anyone who fled to your protection, implored your aid, or sought your intercession, was left unaided, inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. Today I come, before the end stand, sinful and sorrowful, the mother of the world incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but your mercy. Yes. Our Lady, help of Christians. <laughs> kind and merciful Father, slow to anger and rich in compassion, we ask you to grant our petitions through Christ our Lord.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. Blessed is you come to the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Ignatius our Bishop, Anselm his auxiliary and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and love your mercy with your body and drink your blood. That may be my condemnation, that help in mind and body. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ bring all of us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O oh Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
Thank you, choir. Holy Cross. Holy Cross. Are you happy? Good morning, Archbishop. Good morning, fathers. Good morning, parishioners. How are you doing today? Okay, please listen to the following announcement. The Catholic Charismatic Renewal of our parish will stop their one-hour fellowship every Sunday from today, and the time is 6 to 7 p.m. We have a mandatory collection next Sunday, and it is the collection of the maintenance of the holy places in Jerusalem and in Rome. Please come prepared for this collection. Bands of marriage. First call. Marriage is proposed between Levinus Atsure Nandi, son of late James Ofre Nandi, and Mrs. Virginia Ajija Nandi. They are from Kwapago, Iran, in Buki Cross River State, and Theresa Oka Ewa, daughter of Morris Peace Ewa, and Janet Aru Ewa from Mkanya, Iran, Buki, Cross River State as well. Marriage is proposed between Uji Benevolence Terzungwe, son of Uji Usongu and Uji Estla. They are from Se Antav, Mbagenda, Gwe West, Benue State, and Veronica, Waya Tai Aboi, daughter of Polinus Aboi, and J Janet Aboi. They are from Usinayache Yala, Cross River State. This is their first call. Marriage is also proposed between Mr. Innocent Ikechuku Okoye, son of Mr. Kaminus Okoye, and Janet Okoye. They are from Azia. Umudiopa and Judith Ngozi Yunis, daughter of Charles Ibarusinka and Isabella Ibarusinka. They're also from Asia Abam. This is also their first call. If you have any reason why these marriages shouldn't take place, please let your concerns be known to the parish priest. Those worshipping with us for the first time, please be on your feet so that the priest can pray for you. If today is your first time and it's you're worshipping with us here at Holy Cross Catholic Church, Apple, please be on your feet so that the priest can pray for you. We implore the blessings of mercy of God upon you as you come to worship him today with us for the first time. May his blessings locate you. May he continue to guide you and protect you, giving you the grace to show mercy to those who hurt you and accepting limitations in your life unto blessings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Microphone is on the schedule. We welcome everyone who's worshipped here with us today. I don't know how many of you are here to stay, but if you're here to stay, you're welcome to Holy Cross Catholic Church Apple, a strong Christian community wherein no one is an outsider. And so please feel free to socialize with us by joining in on all any of the pious societies. You can meet the Catholics after the Mass to choose the one that you want to belong to. And if you're here for a visit, may God bless you as you go along. And then we have uh, this newspaper, the Good Shepherd newspaper. It goes only for 200 Naira. So please endeavor to get one for yourself. And today we know that we have a very, very important person in our midst. 
and I'd like to call on my co-announcer to take it from here. Thank you. Thank you very much, my broadcaster. Good morning, Your Grace. Good morning, distinguished Reverend Fathers in this Mass. Holy Cross, we adore your Christ and we praise you. Traditionally, this is the official visit of His Grace to our parish. Am I correct? On that note, can we give him a standing, on, a standing ovation? As we do that, put our hands together for Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Holy Cross, are we happy today? Please, if you are happy, keep standing. Your Grace, um, this visit was proposed to be for the 14th day of this month, which marks our feast day. But because of the close relationship between 13th and 14th, and today is Sunday being the 13th, we decided to bring you forward. And now you will bless us. You are going to give us a blessing that will carry us as a carryover blessing to tomorrow, which is the main day. Not just tomorrow alone, till the next fifth day. Not just that alone, but till eternity. Can you put your hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ? Thank you very much. Uh, having said that, I say that we, your children, the children of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom you represent, humble ourselves in standing, waiting to receive your blessings. So, happy feast day. Thank you, Your Grace. Same to Your Grace. Yes. Today is as good as tomorrow. So the blessing that you will receive is valid for today, valid for tomorrow, valid forever. Amen. Amen. The, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lord Almighty God, look at your children, gather to honor you, to praise you, and to glorify you. As many as they are, so are also some challenges in their lives. Lord, take control of their lives wherever they are, even as they are in this church and many others who are not here, Lord, follow them with your blessings. Amen. And as they carry the cross that Jesus asks us to carry daily, let them realize that Christianity with the, without the cross is no Christianity, that the cross is part and parcel of our Christian journey. May they carry it with strong faith. May they look only to Jesus in this journey, and by the, the grace of God Almighty, may they make it to eternity. And as they remain in this world, ask them, we ask you, Father, to bless them, to protect them, and to provide for all their spiritual and material needs. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and your families, and abide with you every day of your life. Amen. I welcome His Grace with a song. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You Very much, you can now sit down. Yes, before we continue with any other program, the next we have in line is the Thanksgiving. And for this Thanksgiving, we have said that we are not going to call on every society in the church to do Thanksgiving one after the other. No, rather, we are calling on the key three organizations of the church, which are the CMO, the CWO, and the CYON. And we believe each and every one of us seated here belong to one of these key organizations. So nobody should be say that uh, I have no place. You have a place. So, having said that, 
we are going to call on all the men, the CMO, all the men will come for their thanksgiving as whatever they will have as a gift for the bishop from the CMO will come straight forward. After the CMO will move straight forward to CWO. Then after the CWO, we now go to Sion and children. CMO, are we here? CMO, thank you. Oh, after Sion, according to Father, after the Sion and children, choir, you do your own separately as well. After choir, Zumutamata, I think, I believe you're set and prepared for this Thanksgiving. Thank you. Choir, please. The CMO. Through our Mother Mary, I believe we are always ready. For God and for youth. Where are we here? For God and for youth. Wonderful. All the men, please. <laughs> Church, 
can you please join this queue? It is your turn. Including the children, all the young persons, including the children, join this queue. It is our turn. Thank you. For we come together in our name of Jesus, our eyes and shine. At a time like this, when we come together, from from heart and soul, when we come.
before we go back to a low key, are we tired? Are we happy today? I have been permitted to ask you to dance for one minute for the bishop. Tell him for the archbishop. Show him you know how to dance. Just for one minute. I'm checking out my time. Quiet. Quickly. One good minute. Show the archbishop you know how to dance. Holy Cross can dance better. Thank you. Everybody. One minute. Actually shown to his grace that you struggled like this until you became a parish, and now you are struggling the more to be, to be given uh, a cathedral. It is um, by the grace of God you achieve it one year, one particular year. It will come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Um, now we are going to invite some of our brothers and sisters who have their sacramentals for blessings. Sorry, we skipped that. Please, if you have your sacramentals for blessings, can you be on your feet? Those with their tithes as well, please be on your feet. Just stand up where you are. Father will bless you from the altar. Thank you. Raise your tithes up on your sacramentals. In the name of God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, in the name of the church, I accept this tithe of thanksgiving from you. 
a sign of appreciation to God for the strength and grace that enables you to walk. May you continue to endow you with more graces, so that walking tirelessly, you may obtain the blessings I have prepared for you through Christ our Lord. And the sacramentals you hold in your hands as, a article, as articles of your faith, as you pray through them, may God continue to endow you with his blessings and love through Christ our Lord. All right. We'll Thank you. Those with your tithes, please come straight forward and drop your tithe quickly. We do not have time. As you are doing that, um, I will now invite the EPC Vice Chairman, in the person of Mr. Uche Amifle, to come straight forward and collect the microphone from me and then give us a few information, just as I'm always ready to hand over the microphone. Thank you very much, sir. Holy Cross! Holy Cross! We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Ignatius Ayo Kagama, on behalf of the parishioners of Holy Cross, we are welcoming you and your entourage. I can see our former parish priest, Father Vincent May Ogunsoro. I can also see Colonel, Father Colonel, who has gone to Kuchungoro. <laughs> and so many other priests who are coming here for the very first time. On behalf of the PPC and our Ebu parish priests, we are glad to have you visiting us for the very first time since you took over the Cathedral of Abuja Agdalsis. We count ourselves very fortunate to have you visit us within the first year of your work in uh, the uh, Agdalsis of Abuja, irrespective of the problems of COVID-19. Maybe you would have come earlier than this, but I know also there are some parishes that have not had this privilege of having you celebrate Mass for them. So we count ourselves fortunate and we are praying that God, who has installed you as the Archbishop of Abuja uh, Archdiocese, will continue to strengthen you. He will continue to empower you, that you will do more here than you did in just through Christ our Lord. We are praying that this visit today will be a beginning of many such visits. We know that you are going to come so many times. The Cardinal used to visit us as often as he chose. And we know that you improve on what he did in this, uh, this parish. And as you can see, our parish is still young. He was our very first parish priest. He just worked for, with us for four years before he handed over to Father Oja, who has not even spent up to two years with us. He's still a young parish. We have a lot of challenges. But, like you said, through the cross, we succeed. With your prayers and the prayers of all the priests in that diocese, we are believing God that the Holy Cross, the next time you are going to come here, will be better than this, through Christ our Lord. I know our priest has been visiting you. He will tell you more about our parish and the challenges we are facing. I know today is not about challenges. and Today is about rejoicing because you came on a familiarization visit. The Lord who brought you safely to our parish will lead you back to the cathedral through Christ our Lord. And as you stay with us, may the Lord who triumphed through the cross continue to triumph in your ministry and in your archdiocese through Christ our Lord. Thank you, His grace, and welcome. May God bless you abundantly through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Cross. A round of applause for, the great, for His grace. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Holy Cross, we adore you, Christ, and we praise you. I want to take the liberty first of all to introduce the priests on the altar before i formally welcome his grace we have uh, the three secretaries to his grace 
Reverend Father Tiopenda Joseph. Please, can you stand up for recognition? We have Reverend Father Abu Joseph. If that is not how you welcome priests, please, please don't sit down welcoming priests. Father Joseph Abu. We welcome Father Emeka Ilona. Both of them are the three anchors of his grace, the three secretaries of his grace. Please come welcome there with a better round of applause. His grace also came with a very senior priest, the director of communication, very reverend father, Dr. Patrick Alumoku, the one that sits by my side, my right. We have by the, the we also have very reverend father doctor Dominic Shimawa. He's a lecturer. He's a lecturer at Veritas University. He's a dean of faculty of uh, I think social sciences. He's a very big man. If you want to be admitted in Veritas University, you can come through for that Dominic Shimawaya. Glory to Jesus. By his side, you already know him very well. We have a gallant commander, commander, very reverend father, Dr. Uh, Cornell, um, Emmanuel Lueke, <laughs> who is now, who has now been posted as the priest in charge of Holy Cross. Uh, Holy Cross Pastoral Center, uh, Chikuchiguru and Karamajiji along Airport Road. Please put your hands together for him. I decided to leave this one last so that uh, I know you want to clap very well. Our first, our first, our mayor Paris Priest of Holy Cross. Reverend Father, hold on, hold on. Reverend Father, this sent me. Thank you. We can now pay attention. So we can we now pay you. attention? Uh You can sit down. Father, you can sit down with this uh, welcome applaud. The people really appreciate you. And uh, we have really missed you. I've invited Father for several, on several occasions. He would just promise and fail. I was actually surprised today when I saw his text message. If I have time, I will join you at the Mass. I said, thank you, Father. The Mass is 10.30. Please make it in time. So thank you for coming. I may God continue to bless you. We know you are working in what we call central area or central. Central, not in the suburb. Central area. So central areas are always very, very what busy. Continue to pray for him that God will continue to bless him with the strength and vigor to work for him through Christ our Lord. The person talking to you is Reverend Father Neute Clement Ujia, Parish Priest Holy Cross. Thank you very much. very much. I wrote down my address so I'll stick to what is in, I wrote down. Brothers and sisters in Christ, nothing is more urgent and necessary as giving thanks. Even our Lord Jesus Christ in the Gospels questioned the whereabouts of the other nine lepers 
when only one of them, a Samaritan, came back to give thanks. Like the cleansed Samaritan cured leper, we the parishioners and good people of Holy Cross Parish, a poor mechanic new side, gathered today to appreciate you, our dear Father, in good in, in faith, Most Reverend Dr. Ignatius Ayao Kaigama, the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Diocese. All like the Samaritan, to thank you not only for spiritual and bodily healing, but for making God visible among us today. Am I lying? No. God was made visible among us today, right? Your grace, what we have heard of you in the past, although me, I, have also heard and seen as a parish priest, we are glad to behold today. Your grace, the mastery and fineness with which you handled the liturgy, your Christostomic, audible, yet inviting angelic voice together with your command of authority, with your command of authority, in matters of faith, made morals and doctrines has left all of us to wonder whether you were created on a Monday morning after God had rested and so did not leave out any single detail in crafting you. Since you arrived the Ajaxes of Abuja, more of God's blessings have been following you. Your visit to us today is an epoch-making event to us and as we, rem we remember with gratitude your kind gestures at the peak of the pandemic fever, you remember very well, when His grace, when both all of us were recipients of His grace, palliative gestures. You remember, gave us plenty of bags of rice, beans, garri, and all of them. We joyfully congratulate you, Your Grace, on your recent investiture of pallium, a symbol of the shepherd that you are, and your intimate union with the mother church. The recent concluded, concluded General Assembly reminds afresh in our hearts with the creation of 32 new pastoral centers. This parish, Holy Cross Apo, Mechanic New Side, has a capacity of about 3,000 Christian worshippers who show excellence and commitment in carrying out the command of God as directed by the church. There's one outstation, St. Anselm Pibax Casa, and a new one in the making, Church of the Annunciation, Pibasama, is just outside here. This one uh, will have three res uh, settlements outside the estate, uh, Jesus Avenue, Pibasama, and uh, Chaffee. Now they have there's an there's an, uh, uh, an entrance uh, gate, an, uh, uh, an access gate just near the father's house here. Recently, the estate management decided to lock up that to close up that gate. So now decided to be pastorally useful to the people. We started a bacha at the hill. We hope that by the end of this month, we should have started worshiping there. So these two would have loved to be here to experience your presence, but we know that as you stretch out your hand from this point, that you will receive an abundance of the blessings you have and you are endowed with. Your grace, let me not bother you with too many words, but sincerely, we are all overwhelmed with your presence. Silver and gold we do not have to offer, but we have. We hope that you accept the little tokens your people have gladly brought to you today. Thank you once more, Your Grace, for coming, and we pray 
that the good Lord who has given you, who has saddled you with the responsibility of shepherding his flock, will continue to die with more graces through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please, I will all stand and welcome his grace. Please, I will. say that what Father Clement Uja told me about Holy Cross of Paul is true. I have come, I have seen, and I believe that you are. So I'm so excited that you are excited. And to see this wonderful spirit of family, of unity, and of your love for the church. It is wonderful. May God continue to bless you. You saw me give a special blessing to the children because I know they are the today and the future of this place. So they are special, look after them very well. There is a lot of competition around, I would say, churches springing up left, right, and center. And we must not allow our people to deviate. And so we have heard that we have created more pastoral areas. And I want to tell you how serious it is that even our very senior priests are being asked to go and do this work of almost primary evangelization. I have here Father Patrick Alumuku. We are classmates, we have nearly 40 years in the priesthood. And he is going to start a new pastoral area from the beginning. You see? All the experience he has gathered, he will put that into practice and is a model, an example for the younger priest to see how it is done. And then my brother here, Father Emmanuel Mweke, who also is almost 40 years a priest. He has been everything, including being a soldier and a colonel. Now he is going to start a very basic pastoral area. Okay? So you see, we are putting our best forward for this. And then remember there is Monsignor Udo Aloysius, who also was my classmate with Father Lumoku, he's a Monsignor, but he is going to start a pastoral area from the scratch, from the beginning, with nothing. So we need your support and cooperation. We want to reach into the nooks and crannies of Abuja City and the, the suburbs. Please, I'm happy that you showed great enthusiasm when your first pioneer parish priest but Ogunsoro, when he was introduced, you were so excited. It means that for four solid years he worked with you and rendered selfless service. And today, you are what you are by the grace of God and by the grace of the services he gave you. Well done, Father Vincent Ogunsoro. May God bless you and may you continue to do more. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for all your gifts. I can see you bond very well with your parish priest, Father Clement Uja. Please continue this way. The journey to heaven is by carrying the cross. And I see the wonderful work you are doing, Father Clement Uja. Well done. God bless you. And continue doing more and more and more. So, 
I appreciate all your gifts. Even one of the children, as I was blessing them, he put this into my hands. He, he, he made sure that it was right inside my hand. So I want to thank him, whoever he is. And this is a symbol of your generosity, all of you. Look at what you have brought, the, the rams, the rice, the many things you have brought through this child. May the blessing of God reach each and every one of you. And I will not spend this uh, 100 Naira like that. It is very special. I'm going to buy something special with this 100 Naira. <laughs> I thought I had finished the gift I got from the Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop Filipazzi. He gave me some of these few that he got from Rome, from the Holy Father, Pope Francis. But I found one. You are a very lucky people. I thought we had finished everything last Sunday, but you still have one for yourself. Yeah, this is a thermometer which I will hand over to your parish which is to be used for you and for your activities here. Yeah. So pray for Pope Francis, pray for the Annuncio, and pray for all of us. It's a small gift, but it's a gesture coming all the way from Rome for you to Holy Cross. Apo, it's a wonderful gesture. God bless you. Holy Father. And finally, I want to thank Father Patria Nuku in a special way. He is the brain behind this, my movement from parish to parish and being covered by the Catholic television. Those people with the cameras are members of the crews of the Catholic television of Nigeria. Since Easter week, or oh, what do you call it? Since um, Holy Week, we have been going around with Father Patrick Alumoku. I thought it was only for the period of Easter. When Easter was concluded, this crew, the CTV, continued to follow me to all the masses where I used to go. And it has become like a tradition. Every Sunday we have been with Father Patria Lumoku, with all these, my priests, the secretaries and others. And then uh, Dr. Jude, who is the choir director in the Archdiocese, they are all joining me so that we can serve you. And I'm happy that uh, this Mass, for instance, is reaching beyond even the people around your parish. So thank you once again for the Lumuku, and we thank the Catholic television. We hope that, as he has repeatedly told us, that there is need for all to get the decoder so that they can see what is happening on television. Just like now, people are seeing what you are doing in Holy Cross Apple. It's good in your homes you have your decoders so that you can see what is happening in the other parts of the Archdiocese. Father Patrick Alumuku has been appointed, like I told you, to a pastoral area, a small area. We want him to use all his experience to bring that place up. So he may not be able to follow me every Sunday like he has done. But for doing this since Holy Week up to day, date, I say, Father, thank you and may God bless your work. All right, so once again, the priest, Father Veritas, well done, and I'm happy that you come to share with them also. God bless you. And everybody, altar boys, and Zumunta Mata, Kuna Nene, Pansanku Neba, Naga, I'm in uniform, Naja Kuwen Sune, the guy now, Ashe Kuni, Sanda Kuka Fara Waka Naja, Ashe Zumuntani, Toile Suba Moku, Albarka, Kamaya Fida Kasama. Kuchika bada zumunchi, kuchika bada zumunchi. Mie yo, aka kuwaya mana abu dea, kalma dea, wanda kun, hiya, samu akaratuna yo, kalma dea, nda aka kuwaya mana, menene kena? Gafer tawa, yafewa. Ashe kunjiduka, yafewa, gafer tawa. To Allah ya saa, haka ya faruwa sakanimu. To kuchika bada zumunchi, kuchika bada aikin bishara. Kada kugaji. Allah ya saa muku albarka. So oh, now stand and receive your blessing. I still have this hundred naira in my hand. I will have to. <laughs> I better put it in my pocket very well. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, bow your heads and receive God's blessing. And this blessing will reach even the bacha. You have the new place you want to start a station. All these. 
will reach that place and it will be blessed. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, this Mass is ended.